Stack City, bitch. No volume for Bud Light. Angry Birds, okay. Now, is this girl... Is this girl drugged? Did you drug this girl? Looks like it. I'm seeing vodka. Forks. Cups. Cup stack. Ooh, now there we go. Now we're getting fancy. Stack them. Wow. She is passed the fuck out. <laughs> Look at her. She's all the way in there. Oh, that's funny, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my God. This is foul. It's over. Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. I don't need you. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone. Episode 134. Out of breath. 134. One knocking at my door. Okay, folks, uh, nah, enough of the gay jokes. It's time to do this properly. There's been some changes at the Dynamite Gizmo Studio. The mushroom. In the mushroom, there's been some changes. Uh, I've got TV right next to me right now. It's at a nice angle. You can't see it, but I can see it. I don't need you to see it, but I need to see it. Okay, so the TV's right here. fits nicely. I changed the whole orientation of the room, okay? Before, as you know, I only had a little bit of space up here and off to the left and the right. Now I don't have any space over here, but I have lots of space over here. So I can come in and uh, sit down nice and easily. I also had to move my laptop over here and all the other equipment over here, which you can't even see it anymore. You know, even the stream deck is over here, which you can't see either. The backdrop is on a flat wall rather than a corner. You don't see it and you don't care. Why am I explaining this? Just think, thought I would start it off by saying that. In case you're wondering, which you're not because you don't care. If you could see, you'd say, oh, this is better, but you can't see. So you're just like, oh, it looks pretty well the same to me. Now, I was going to do a cam link OBS type thing make my life easier but my computer's a slow piece of shit so there's that so I can't do that uh, I also have sh ha although I have my internet back which is fantastic you already know that but I'm fat and this shirt is too tight it's way too small for me I don't even know if you can tell on camera that's kind of why I wore it. I was like, because you can't tell on camera. You can't see my titties. If you saw me in real life, though, you'd be like, fuck, why are you wearing that shirt? That's way too small for you. It is. It's too. It's a nice shirt. It says most dope, bro. I smoke the most dope. No. Not like that. Not like that. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, slow internet. My internet is so fucking unbelievable, unbelievably slow. Last night I started because what? Because I noticed my internet was slow, so I said to myself, "I'm gonna upload throughout the night, so that uh, you know while I'm sleeping it'll be uploaded by the time I wake up, and I won't have to worry about not being able to use the internet because of the slow speeds at which it runs while you're uploading." Okay. So I, I started the upload at around 11 o'clock, went to bed. I got up around 9 because I slept in I'm like a fat, lazy piece of shit. And I woke up and I went into the room and I was like, oh, let's go see that. Let's go see that it's uploaded because it's definitely uploaded, right? That's like 10 hours. Um, went.
went into the room, it was only at 76%. I fucking couldn't believe it. That's how slow my internet is. So I got to find fucking new ways to upload. I got to, you know, upload it at night. And if I wake up and I'm still hanging out at the house and I still need to use the internet, I got to stop the fucking upload and wait till later to, to upload it again. It's so fucking stupid, dude. Like, we shouldn't live in a time nowadays where the internet is that slow. That just shouldn't happen anymore. Like, I haven't seen internet that slow since 1995. That's how slow the internet is. And boy, oh boy, let me tell you, slow internet makes a guy thirsty. Right, Janice? And see, I used to be able to just look straight out the door this way to talk to Janice, but now the door's over here. So now I gotta go like this. Janice! You can suck my dick and eat my dingleberries because I've got a lot in my anal region. Um, nah, Janice is, Janice is fine. Leave her alone. Uh, she's got Dasani sparkling lime. Okay. Okay. Okay, Janice. At least it's not strawberry Perrier. I'll give you that much. You know, strawberry anything. Any water that wants to try to do the strawberry flavor can suck my dick. If you want to do carbonated water that's flavored lime, I'm all for that. Lime is a good flavor for carbonated water. Strawberry? Nah. Cherry? Well, maybe. What's the point of having a mug if it doesn't fit the whole can, Janice? Wow, there's a lot of carbonation, my friend. The bubbles are splash and pop all over the place. It's not pop, it's water. Mmm. Ugh. It just still doesn't taste that great, though. Well, it's not bad. But if you if you if you look at me in the face and you say this tastes better than pop, I'm gonna shit. I'm gonna shit all over you, my friend. Cause it just doesn't. For one, I mean, yeah, it's healthier, but the healthy stuff doesn't taste better than the than the unhealthy stuff. You know that. It's much better, and you can get used to this flavor, and you could say, I like this flavor, but deep down inside, you know the sodi pop is better. So, I, did I mention it in the last episode? I'll mention it again. I think I'm cutting down my uh, uploads per week. Yeah. I might just do one a week. Because, for a few reasons, one... I don't have any viewers, too. But, you know, I've always said in order to get the viewers, you got to put up the content. Blah, 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 blah. I know, okay? But you just run into things to talk about, you know? When you try to cram a bunch of shit in, three in like three episodes a week, it's just, it just doesn't happen, okay? Not by yourself. You need a team of people. And I got uh, I got myself and an olive. Oh, that was a squeak, wasn't it? Wasn't that a, just a lovely squeak? Yeah, make some more loud noises, why don't you? Make some more loud noises, why don't you? Uh, we got... Oh, oh, right, right. Here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card, but you'll find out anyway because we'll talk about it. Ba-boom. You know what it is. You know, you know how we are. You know the... Just strap on my boots and watch me go. But I can't ski until December. Till then I'm just a, a sex, sex offender. offender. I'm just a sex offender. Yes. Until next week, I'm calm. 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 You know who that is? That's, uh... You know who that is. I don't have to fucking tell you who that is. I've been sick for the past three days. The first thing I did this morning was sneeze. 
I need some new sound bites. Can you get me some? I'll come up with some. Okay, we've got some stuff. We've got stuff. Okay, so just yesterday, for me, just yesterday. Don't know when it'll be for you, but just yesterday, for me, uh, someone died. Someone fucking died, okay? They shit the bed. I shouldn't say that. Um, you know, people are dying left, right, and center. Uh, people die all the time, but this person in particular is a... You know him. You might well. You might not know him, but you might know him. Um, what am I doing here? It's Juice World, right? That's how you pronounce it. This guy right here. Uh he was he 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 passed. He's gone. And you might be saying, you might be saying, if you're a racist piece of shit, you might be saying, oh, he died of a drug overdose. Is that what you're saying? You think just because he's a black rapper that he uh, died of a drug overdose? Is that what you're thinking? How dare you? How dare you? Because he did. No, he didn't. He didn't. He actually died of... What was it? He had a seizure. A Caesar salad. No, it was a seizure. He had a seizure at Chicago's Midway Airport. Uh, you know, you know him from Lucid Dreams. You know, he, is that how you know him, or do you not know him? He was he turned twenty one on December second. Uh, unknown what may have caused the seizure. Blah 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 blah. He was walking through the airport, bleeding from the mouth. Emergency personnel approached him, and then they trapped him in a cage and took him to the airport. Why am I joking about this? A guy lost his life. Okay. Triple nine, nine digits, nine, nine at Juice World. Too bad we can't play his music on the show so I can show you what it, what he's all about. But right now he is number one. Not he's He took the, the three spots on Twitter, the trending list. Look at this. Number one, Juice World. Number two, Rip Juice World. Number three, hashtag Rip Juice World. Uh, so all you boomers out there are looking at this like, who the fuck is Juice World? Or you're looking at it like, who is Juice WRLD? Who, who cares about this part? I, kn I know you're saying that, boomer. Okay. Fucking boomers, dude. I gotta get near near the mic here. You probably can't even hear me. Goddamn boomers. Keep the mic at your goddamn mouth, idiot. Hold on. Let me give this a little twist. Come on. Come on, bro. Give it a fucking twist, bro. Is that where you want it? Cause that's where it's going. It's just twisting itself. Okay. This is the worst microphone stand on the planet. I need a new one. Can you give me a new one, Janice? <sighs> I need a fuck. This is this is stupid. This is the stupidest microphone stand I've ever stand. I can't even turn it. Ah! Ah! And it just goes right back to where it was. Oh my fucking Jesus Christ. This is the worst. Because it's all bent to shit. It's all fucking fucked up. It's getting fucked in the face. Hi, everyone. Hi. I hope you're enjoying. I hope you're enjoying this episode of Mess with the Microphone Stand. Uh, yep. Oh, fuck, this is so stupid. I'm going to kill whoever invented this microphone stand. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to kill this person. Ow, my fingers. Ow, it hurts. Ow, it hurts me. It hurts me. Ow, someone help. It hurts me. That was a lot of noise, wasn't it? That was a lot of racket. Enough with the racket, please. We all just need to calm down and do a little ASM Sam Sam. Uh, 
You're a pussy. Thank you, Logan. Yeah, where were we? Boomers. Boom. I'm getting sick of boomers. Aren't you? They're driving me nuts, dude. You can't get away from them. Especially where I'm at. I'm in like Boomer Central, dude. People are so stuck in the past. Get out of it. Find a new... Just accept the future, dude. Why can't boomers accept the future? It's because they're scared. They want to go back to the good old days. Living on the farm. Uh, shoveling the shit. Ooh, that feels good, boy. I love shoveling shit. <laughs> Boomers. I was at a course. I had to take a first aid course. And an H2S course. On Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And those... The whole room was just full of boomers. Everyone but me was a boomer. Even the teacher was a boomer. And let me tell you, sitting in a classroom full of boomers, including the teacher being a boomer, whew, let me tell you something, brother. It's not fun. Not even a little bit. Because uh, they, get, they get going on these topics, you know? And all the same bullshit, it's like, oh, you know, they're like, they say they say the stupidest shit. Like, this one guy was like, when I was a kid, we could go outside in the sun without a shirt on. We didn't get sunburned, but now it's way too damn hot. And then another guy will be like, yeah, I remember that too. And then they'll start talking about the oil field. And they'll start talking about coal. And, and they're like, they, then they just instantly go on a rant about how climate change isn't real and how we need to just stick to coal and oil and gas because it's not harming the environment, but yet they still say that they... Yeah, fuck off. Why am I talking about... Fuck boomers, man. You know? This is a stupid topic. It is. Okay, boomers are all right, okay? They're okay. To a certain extent, until they, t until they start talking about shit. You know? They don't get it. They just don't get it. They don't get it. They don't get it. They think... And I'm not saying they don't know stuff, because, yeah, they know stuff. They know life stuff. They've been around for 50 to... 90 years they know stuff about life but what they just don't understand the technology they don't get it it's out of their realm so new technology comes in and then boomers step in and they're like why are you doing this we don't need this we've been doing it this way forever why do we need to do it this way it's constant they're like a bunch of Luddites refusing to accept the new technology. It's not going to lose. Okay, yeah, it will take jobs. Yes, it will. Excuse me, I have to sneeze. Yeah, it will take jobs. Okay? Expect it to happen. But new jobs will be created, you son of a bitch. And why do you feel like jobs is necessary to live if we can make the robots do the shit that we don't have to do why the fuck would you not want that and you may be saying well in order to feel satisfied in life you need to feel accomplished throughout your day and if you're not doing something to feel accomplished then you're not going to live a happy life well listen fella you can still utilize these technologies to do the jobs that are difficult and take time. But while they're doing that, you there's still other stuff humans can do to still feel satisfied, okay? There's still fucking things we can fucking do, you idiot. Okay, the technology still has to be maintained. That's a job for a human. The technologies 
I mean, the people can, can, there's, there's always stuff for humans to do. Do you smell that? It smells like a dirty carpet. Wow. I'm getting a real dirty carpet smell. Juice World Wide. Juice World. So, yeah, another rapper has hit the dust. Oh, look. Juice World last picture, last Instagram picture display on one eye. Similar to the past artist's last picture. Is this a coincidence? This is a constant pattern. Is very concerning. What? So you're saying that all the people who have died, the last picture was a picture of them with one eye. So you're saying the Illuminati killed these motherfuckers. Is that what you're saying? Just because they show one eye that the Illuminati is taken over? Well, you might be right. You might be right. I only say this because I'm in the Illuminati. You see? Can you see that? You, I can't bend my arm. That's that's Illuminati right there. <laughs> oh, I'm in the alumni. Juice World. Yeah, sucks, dude. He's dead really sucks all seriousness it's never a good thing to see anyone die fuck you boomers because I, I can just hear the boomers right now like saying oh who cares about this idiot he got tattoos on his face blah, blah, blah. i can just hear them now i can just hear them now do you ever feel like you're in the wrong oh it's doing the thing Oh, it did the thing. It's doing the thing. Hold on. It's doing the thing. It's doing the thing, people. You can't let it do the thing. Oh, this is a great podcast. Great podcast. Okay, unplug this. Unplug this in. Get in, friend. There. There we go. Oh, how lovely. I've been sick for the past three days. The first. There we go. Ah. Uh, too bad I can't use this. It's too bad. It's too bad. It's too late to apologize. This is a shit podcast. Did I say these episodes were going to get better? I lied. I completely lied. Uh, people are dying left, right, and center. The rap people. The rap folks. The hip hop. We don't drop. Do I look fat? This this is making me look fatty as fuck, right? Like, uh... Ooh, baby. What are you doing? Don't show that. <laughs> uh, like Eric Griffin. He, now he, he, I love Eric Griffin. Don't get me wrong, motherfucker. I love Eric Griffin, but he's a, he's a chunky dude. He's a chunk meister. We're all a little chunky. You ever you ever get a uh, motivation to go to the gym, and then you go f for about a week, and then you say, "Ah, I don't need this," and you stop. That's me every year. I am a lazy piece of junk. I was gonna say piece of shit, but I changed it to junk, so maybe I should just say shit. I am a lazy piece of diarrhea, Dookie. Okay, Juice World, you're juicy, all right. Why don't we talk about what you've been waiting for me to talk about? 
and that is uh, YouTube Rewind. What did I? What did I? How did I feel about YouTube Rewind? Okay. Uh, magic and flowers and flowers and magic. So I can't. Play some of it. A lot of music that I can't play. K-pop. That is so awkward to yep. watch. YouTube it's rewind awkward. 2018, the most disliked video in the history of YouTube. Yes. In 2018, we made something you didn't like. 2019, let's see what you did like, because you're better at this than we are. Can't play the music. Um. Uh. Okay. YouTube rewind. How do I feel? How do I feel? Let me pause this. Um. Man. I will say it's better than last year's. I'll say that. I'll say it's better than last year's. But here's the thing. Last year's, although it was edited nicely, there was lots of special effects. There were celebrities in there, including Will Smith opening. It did feature... YouTube stars, but it wasn't what YouTube Rewind is supposed to be, okay? For those who don't know who YouTube, what YouTube Rewind is, and eh, for those people who don't know what it is, and when they jumped into the 2018 one, you know, first, first hand, and they look at that, they're going to say, oh, this is cool. I liked it. But those who know what it is and watched it, that's why they didn't like it. And this one, YouTube understood that they didn't like last year's because it had like 66 million dislikes or some shit. So they changed, they tried to bring back the origins of what YouTube Rewind is supposed to be. And you know, back in the day, in its prime years, it was a compilation of everything that happened throughout the year. All the popular videos, all the popular YouTube stars, whatever. Whatever happened in that year, you're supposed to package that into a nice little, you know, five to ten minute video. And make it fun and cool and interactive. See, because back in the day, what what was popular is they would take all the popular shit, all the viral shit, and they recreated it. In like a interactive way where everything is like melded in with one another. <clears throat> like when. I don't know. It was. Look. Truckla. <laughs> you know. And so that's what they did. In this 2019 version. But what we're seeing in this 2019 version is a bunch of YouTubers that nobody knows and a bunch of music that no one likes and a bunch of kind of unnecessary clips that just shouldn't have been featured here because they're trying to be diverse so they're trying to <sighs> They're trying to uh, encapsulate every country. They're trying to get, you know, because now YouTube is so unbelievably massive now that it's literally all over the world that they got to include everyone. And I'm fine with that. But where's, you know, they're doing like, like if you watch this, it's kind of just like right now in the background, they're playing like the hit, the top hits right now. It's music. I don't even know what song it is. It's like, uh... Oh, no music right now. There's a song. See, like... Okay, we got some Russian channel. Flipbook. Yeah, I, I know Andy's flip. James Charles, yeah. Okay, Seth. Seth Everman. Yeah, yeah, he went viral. Don't know who this guy is. Don't know who this guy is. But... Don't know who this is either. PewDiePie, okay. Uh, Mr. Beast. 
So it's not like I hate this, okay? It's not like I hate the 2019 YouTube Rewind. I didn't even hate the 2018 one. I didn't like it. I didn't hate it. You know, it's hard to... When, when a company's this big, it's just hard to... It's hard to... I, I need to go smoke some weed, man. My brain... I need, I need just a poof. Hello, Olive. Hello, Olive. God, I remember st when I started this podcast, I the whole idea of it was I wanted it to be centered around weed smoking. And I really stepped away from that recently. That was like, man, it's so crazy how stuff evolves, right? Just like YouTube Rewind, it's evolving. Because YouTube's evolving. God, it's so crazy to think that, like, the weed aspect of this channel just completely disintegrated. That's one of the reasons why I wanted the mushrooms, because I wanted, like, a whole psychedelic style of podcast. Man, it's crazy. Like, when I started, I told myself, okay, you're going to smoke weed every episode. And you're going to talk about weed and whatnot. You know, and and I was like, ah, I don't want to do that anymore. That's sending a, a weird message. <laughs> I don't know, but there's sometimes where I noticed lately, like just trying to sit here and talk without having the influence of weed by my side is just difficult. It helps significantly. Who baby? Who baby? Who baby? Who? Who? So usually, what I'm I used to do it at the beginning. You do it at. At the top of the podcast. So then by the time you start talking about stuff, you're already... <laughs> you're already at the stage you need to be, you know? Mushrooms and onions and onions and mushrooms. Ho, ho. Man, I've got a stuffed up nose. Hate the winter hate the winter because you get static electricity on everything. Can't touch anything without getting zapped. But also, you get stuffy noses. But also, you get dry lips. But also, it's cold outside. You can't do anything. And you don't want to do anything. He's like, I don't want to have to because it's such a big process. You got to put on your... You got to start your vehicle, okay, to warm it up first for at least 15 minutes. If you don't have a remote start, you got to go out there. You clear all the snow off the vehicle. You got to start the thing, let it run. Chugga, 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 chugga. <laughs> okay? Then you got to clear all the snow off unless you let it melt when you while your car is warming up. You got to put all winter gear on. You gotta put things in your pockets. You gotta put gloves on. Boots. You go out there. Shovel. Shovel the pathway. Alexa! What's the temperature? It's minus 16 degrees Celsius. Expect a high of minus 10. Yes! Oof. 
It gets up to minus 40 degrees Celsius here. Can you believe that shite? That's cold, motherfucker. No one wants that. Do ya? You don't want that, do ya, you little piece of shit? So, we were talking about YouTube Rewind. Mr. Beast, Lil Nas, Billy Eyelash, Ariana. Okay. Where's the YouTubers, though? Where's, where's the YouTubers? What was this? BT Look, music videos. The top 10 music videos. T-Series is at number 10. Music videos shouldn't be included in this, I don't think. Right? Even though... Well, maybe it should now, though, right? Because... Music videos used to be just a thing of the television. But now... They're a thing of the internet. And if you want to watch a music video, you're going to YouTube. Right? So maybe... Maybe they did make the right decision by putting them in. <clears throat> Little dicky. Earth. Not so great. Old Town Row, Billy Eyelash. I don't even know who Blackpink is. BTS, of course. And Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello. The most liked dance videos. Okay. My stomach is hurting right now. I just took two gnarly poops before this podcast. And I hope the third one isn't coming on. Because I'll have to shit all over this place. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, don't poop on me. <laughs> Ouch. My stomach is actually hurting. We don't need dance videos for sure. Out of all the topics on YouTube you could have picked, you picked dance videos. Include maybe podcasts. That's a huge one right now, is it not? That is a massive one. Everyone and their goddamn uncle plus their cat has a podcast. Everyone has a poop cast. Well, no, I have a poop cast. Everyone else has a podcast. And they include dance videos. Only five, though. And, of course, I don't know any of these. Don't know and don't really care. So what is this? Gaming, then? The, the, the most viewed gaming video games. Okay, they're not, they're not even doing... Okay, maybe they are. No, they're not. They're just literally listing video games now. You could have listed the gaming channels. Most like beauty videos. Okay, sure. That's a popular thing on YouTube. It is. I'm not. That sounds sarcastic, but it is true. Um, so I'm fine with this, I guess. Look at me. I'm like the authority here. Who who am I to say what's good or not? You help these new creators break out. Don't know who this is. 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 First uploaded. Oh, man. These guys first upload in 2019, and they're at like 3.4 million subs already. Good for them. Great. You, the most viewed creators. Who are these people? Two billion views. Okay, Mr. Beast. Okay. Dude Perfect. Okay. David Dobrik. Okay. Don't know who that is, but of course it's a gaming channel. 
Because you see, gaming channels will upload like five videos a day. Some of them. I don't know if they're that intense, but they upload so often that the first high creator to hit 10 million became the largest Spanish speaking channel. Uh, where was I? Gaming channels. Yes, yes, yes. They upload so much. My stomach is really hurting. I feel like I'm going to die. Oh, hit him in the face with a fish now. Gaming channels will upload so often that those those views add up. Because what they'll do is they'll play one game for ho however many hours. They'll chop that up. And then, fing, fing, fing. Now I've got multiple videos for multiple views. Four times the amount of views. You know what I'm saying? YouTube Rewind 2019. They're heading in the right direction, but they're still not there yet. They still got some work. <sighs> I should start. <clears throat> yeah. Janice, my throat. Janice, I'm dying. My stomach, my throat. Janice. Janice. Jennifer. Janice. 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 <laughs> <clears throat> Ooh, baby. Swallow my phlegm. Uh, fuck. <laughs> um. Just strap on my boots and watch me go. But I can't ski until December. Till then I'm just a, a sex, sex of offender. Not me. This guy. Um. Uh, I saw... Oh, okay. No, we'll talk about this. Spotify. We're in the, you know, 2019's coming to a wrap-up. We're about to hit a new decade. The 20s. We're going into the 20s, yo! We're in the 2020s. So when we look back to this decade coming up, we'll say, remember the 20s? And that won't, will no longer mean the 1920s. Isn't that fucked up? That's fucking crazy. Isn't that crazy? There's no longer a number one at the beginning of our year. It's been that way for fucking centuries. Now there's a two. Well, we've had a two for a little while now. But <laughs> wow. The 2020s. That just sounds futuristic. The 2020s. Everyone's going to be in a cyber truck. Man, bubbles. <laughs> Imagine what the bubbles are going to be like. We're going to be traveling in bubbles. I don't know why. I, that just popped into my head. I think it's the marijuanas. What is 2030 going to look like? That's a long way. Well, it's not that far. I mean, what will that look like? Right? I bet we won't even have... I bet fossil fuel... No. What am I saying? I was going to say I bet fossil fuels will be done by then, but... my mon There's a computer over here. The old computer I used to use. And it's turned off. And... I'm reflecting in it so I can really see myself. It's like a perfect mirror right now. So I might just stare over at myself. No, I ain't going to do that shit. That's stupid. We we're talking about Spotify. You're getting off topic. Majorly, but at least it's better than um, not saying anything, right? How many minutes? Whoa, we're at 40. 
We're at 46 already. This is going to be a long one to upload. <sighs> Smell that derriere. That's the original It reference. If you saw the original It movie, their town is Derry. Okay? They come back to Derry. And one guy says, Smell that derriere. It's the only funny line in the whole movie. Spotify did a, uh, what do you call it? They did, uh, they done did it. What the fuck do you call it? When they, they give you a fucking list of all the shit that you listen to throughout the year. And then they rank it on what you thought, what you listened to the most, and what do you call that? Let me pull up my phone and open Spotify so I can really explain what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, well, they just call it year 2019 wrapped. Like, wrapped. Like, Christmas wrapped. Uh, you don't want to look at mine. You don't want to look at mine. Mine is, uh, Mine's not that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so you got one of the songs. If you heard that, I don't know. I don't even know if you could hear that. Lots of Dr. Dre. Ew, that's, uh, that's all I'm going to say. Ew, that tastes worse than before. What the hell? Is it warm or something? Is this warm? Is this heating up my drinks? No, that's cold. That's cold, boy. You can't even see it. Oh, fuck. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with that? That tastes weird. Janice. Janice! <laughs> what did you... Janice is spiking my drink. Go to Spotify right now. See how, see how bright my face got? Went from this red to this white. Because there's a massive TV right here. I got a 52-inch television, or maybe it's a 50-inch. A 50-inch TV just right here because this is my old TV. You don't know why I have a new TV here? Well, I told it in another episode. Can I show the trailer? I probably can't. Not a good idea. Don't do that. You'll get the claimed or blocked or something. You don't want. No, no. <laughs> I, if you know me, which you don't, because no one knows me. Um, I don't watch movies. Ever, really. Just YouTube. YouTube's my name. Or YouTube's my game. <laughs> All I watch is YouTubers, pretty much. Since the age of 12 or and younger. When I discovered YouTube, which was in 2005, okay... When I discovered it, it was just like instant connection. Like that Craigslist uh, section, you know? Missed connections. This was like a missed connection. And then I found that person. And that person happened to be You're a pussy. Um, YouTube. That sounds ridiculous and insane. It's because it is. Uh, I only, I pretty pretty well only watch YouTube videos. YouTubers on YouTube don't watch TV, don't watch movies. But the odd time I will. And this time I went on Netflix and I saw that John Travolta, 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 John Travolta was in a movie called The Fanatic. Came out this year. The Fanatic. Now, the last movie I remember seeing him in, didn't watch the movie, but I saw trailers. It was called, what the fuck was it called? Gotti. He was John Gotti, right? Or whatever his name is. The, the fucking mobster, Gotti. 
and that he did a terrible job of acting. Terry Apple. I haven't seen acting that bad, I don't think, ever. But this movie, The Fanatic, I saw, I was just flipping through, you know, Netflix, and Netflix forces you to watch the trailer. If you stay on the thumbnail for more than two seconds, they force the trailer down your throat. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll watch this trailer. Watched the trailer and said to myself, this is very intriguing. Very intriguing. Because in this movie, if you haven't seen it, John plays a... Oh, boy. Be careful. What what do they say? Okay, it doesn't describe his character at all. But uh, here's a picture of his character. Just take a look at this picture. Okay? Mmm, baby, look at that haircut. Look at that shaved around the ears here. Okay? And those glasses. And he's choking someone with a Hawaiian shirt on and a purple backpack. Okay? Should we look at some more pictures? Here he is standing. Some Nike Reebok, New Balance sneakers on. Did I say Nike? And Reebok? I meant New Balance. Uh, he's got a card in his hand. So what? what kind of character do you think this is? You see this? You see what's going on here? You see these bloody pictures? You see? Look at how he's standing. I think we went through everything. Yeah, we did. Maybe. He's got a knife. Okay, there's another clue for you. Um, okay, that's everything. He... He plays a, uh, how should I put this? Autistic, very autistic <laughs> uh, type of person, okay? Now, Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 17% on the tomato meter. The audience gave it a 31. I watched it. I saw his acting performance. And I came to the conclusion that I actually like this movie. And I actually think John Travolta did a pretty decent job at playing the character. I don't care what anyone says. You may watch this and laugh your ass off and think this is absolutely ridiculous and not accurate at all to the character. But I, I, felt, I don't know. I liked it. I thought he did a good job. I thought he did an okay job. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. And tell me if you think this movie is utterly ridiculous. Or you liked it. Or you were indifferent. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty, pretty decent. Decent. Did we talk about everything? We may have. So I have some videos I will show. I guess. Here's a good old example of... Okay, this is an example of the people I have to live around, okay? I'll just leave it there. Oh, dick! Oh, dick! Holy shit! Holy shit, boys! Oh, fuck! Oh, what the dick? Oh, shit! Holy! Oh, ah. shit! You okay? Pinner, bud! Fucking Pinner! Holy shit! Holy fuck! Pinner, bud! Holy shit! 
Oh, oh dick! Oh, dick. Stressy freaking kid! Stressy freaking kid! Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh, dick! Oh, okay. okay. Enough of the dicks. You get it? This is my community. This is uh, my backyard, basically. <sighs> nah. Yeah. No, it is. It is. This is my backyard. This is my backyard. I shouldn't have smoked that weed. Nah, I should have. Right? Yeah. Here we go. We're in a, a, a restaurant. These waiters. Okay, these waiters. Here's what it says. These these two waiters brought cake. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me. That's not right. Okay, there's there's two people sitting at the table. Two girls. And there's two two waiters. Okay. Title reads. These two bought cake just for selfie and refused to pay for it because they didn't touch it. Waiters make them instantly regret choosing this restaurant. So these girls said, we, we're going to order a cake. They're going to bring it out to us. We're going to take a picture with the cake. And then we're not going to pay for the cake because we did not touch it. That's what they're thinking is. You already hate them? Yeah, me too. So let's let's watch the video. Why don't we watch the video? <laughs> Arguing. We ain't paying for that shit. <laughs> Boom! <gasps> Snap! <laughs> oh, you get some too hot. How's that feel? You like that? Cake to the face, bro. Cake to the motherfucking face. They deserve it. They 110% deserve it. Right? You don't order two cakes and then say to the waiter, I'm just going to take a picture with the cake. And I'm not going to pay for this shit. And, it, and and don't expect to get cake in your face because you're going to get cake in your face, girl. Love how second waiter's like, huh, so this is what we're doing? Okay, yeah, right. I know, right? He just picks up the cake, throws it in the other girl's face. Hell yeah. Teamwork. That was the best part because the first guy was like, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, and he, you notice how he like leads her in? He leads her in. He's like, I got to get his head down by this cake. He's like, come look at this cake. Come look at this cake, girl. Bop! That's what you get. And then the other guy's like, okay. I guess it's my turn. Don't you love that? Wouldn't it have been a worse video if the other way was like, Bobby, why did you do that? You can't do that to the customer. I'm glad they both stuck to their guns and they both threw the cake in their face. Because the, their boss isn't going to fire both of them. If only one of them did it, then only one would get fired. But if the boss saw that both of them did it, so he's going to be like, okay. Okay. I see what's going on here. Can't fire a boat, yeah. I don't want these girls back anyway. Maybe, I don't know. They might actually have to fire both of them. It might just be complicated. You know how things are. You can't, you can't, you gotta, you can't do anything. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> cancel culture, right? You gotta get rid of the, you gotta get rid of the plague. Now this, you guys got teased with this at the beginning, okay? Girl was drunk, she was passed out, and they were stacking shit on top of her. But you didn't get to see the reveal. Do you want the reveal? Because there is... There it is right here. I got the reveal. Right on TikTok. 
Here we go. <laughs> I just. <laughs> <laughs> You don't even get to see her uh, push all the shit out of the way. Ew, look at this. Ah, okay. I shouldn't be playing this because that is a copywritten song. I'm going to get claimed. Thank you. Fuck. I hope I remember to mute that shit. Okay, here is something that I uh, opened. Something I saved way back in the day. I may have already played this before, but I can't remember. Okay? And I don't exactly remember what it is, so... We're both getting a surprise. Playing soccer? Oh, BOW! That's what you fucking get, Granny. Fucking boomers. Can't stand them. Is there more to this video? Is there a longer version of this video? Should we do some Reddit? Why don't we do some Reddit? One hour and three minutes. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful girl. Did you see that Sean Kingston thing? Sean Kingston's on Cameo. Everyone's on Cameo now. But Sean Kingston is. Someone paid Sean Kingston $100 to get Sean Kingston to propose to that person's wife. Okay, so this guy's like, okay, Sean, here's $100. Can you make a video of you telling my wife that I would like to propose to her. Sean Kingston accepts the hundred dollars. He makes a video saying to, okay he, he accepts the hundred dollars. He makes a video telling the guy that he cannot make a video proposing to his wife. He needs more money to do that. And he left it there. He just took the money and made a video saying he can't make the video. Isn't that great? He's like, it's going to cost more if you want me to propose to your girl, dude. It's going to cost more. I need more money. But I'll take what you got, you know. So how little money does this guy have, I wonder? He must be broke as a skunk. Wow, that was a stupid segment. I shouldn't have said anything about it because I... Wasn't prepared to talk about it. Uh, you see? Okay. Uh, it's tradition on Reddit to open up the website and come to a realization that uh, subreddit, what is this thing, is the first on the list. Without a doubt. Every single time. So, that tradition's still holding up here. What is this thing? Saw this while driving down the highway. I was going roughly 70 miles per hour, and it was going slower. I don't have any further information, though it is required to post, apparently. Ah. So what is this thing? It's a wide load. What is it? What does someone have to say? It's a section of a large bag house. I didn't need to know that. My stomach's growling. Corresponding level 10. Jorge's gap jump. <laughs> that, what? Eat a dick. Chugging champagne in the car. Instant regret. Uh, let's see, huh? Oh, here we go. Ah uh, ha 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 ha! Ah uh, ha 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 ha! That wasn't that great. My neck is gonna hurt from turning it that much. Oh, I missed it. Oh, that's what you get. 
I love how every animal has a detailed description, and this is just Rufus is a good boy. Yep. Rufus is a good boy. And that was a spoiler. So if you haven't beat the game yet, you just got spoiled. <laughs> Why is it so funny? <laughs> Why didn't he just grab the fucking flip-flop? Whoa, 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 wowee, whoa. Oh, get back on the bike, boy. Get back on the bike. Get back on the bike. Is he going to do it? Get back on the bike. Is that him getting back on the bike? No, that's him getting off the bike. Oh, my neck. Someone break my neck, please. Okay, we don't need any more of this. Oh, there's no sound. There's no sound, dude. This is a classic video, if you haven't seen this, and there's no fucking sound. Sound, sound, I wasn't sound. I found it with sound and it's funny. Oh, I got it muted. Hold on. Stop! If you're anyone who's anyone and who's been on the internet back in 2014 or earlier, you would have seen this video, and this video is funny, so let's watch it. Burning behind me is eight and a half tons of heroin, opium, hashish, and other narcotics. <laughs> Come on there, let's go. Burning behind me. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> you like, go. Quick, 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 quick. Wait, we just need one more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is great. Behind me is eight and a half tons of heroin, opium, hashish, and other narcotics. <laughs> Burning behind me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we get it. We get it, brother. You don't have to keep saying it over and over again. <laughs> this is not safe for work. Let's see. I'll be the judge. So far, nothing is playing. Cause my... Wait, what is going on? Oh, this is a porn? Oh! Oh! Okay. That is not safe for work. That is not safe for work. Come. Is not safe for work. Come. No. No, okay. I hope I remember to cut this out. I better remember to cut this out. He, so it was like a porn shoot. Um, stuff was happening and he squirted on the cameraman's face. Like all over his face. So, here's a Hectrochromia cat. I'm making my daughter some magic stained glass. Oh, how beautiful. That's very nice. That's very nice. In Soviet Russia, Titanic sinks the iceberg. Okay. Let's see. Where's the iceberg? 
I'm just seeing ice. Hmm. Very nice. Policia. Oh, he got them. You're done, motherfucker. Baboom. Babushka, teach me good. So some guy decided to cosplay as Johnny Depp character in a movie. All of them. Very nice. Very nice. Did you do it? Yes. What did it cost? $11. What is this? What? I don't get it. Things we're bringing back in the 2020s. Flappers. What's that? Art Deco. Crippling Depression. The Charleston. Huh. Amazing Jungle Valley or Weathered Fence Post Top. Hmm. It's a post top. It's obviously a post top. Right? Right? I'm on the fence. That's not funny at all. Oh, gross. Yeah, we already saw that. We don't need to see that. I just got told that vaccine at that. No one cares, okay? Oh, he's going to photocopy water? Ooh, this will be interesting. Has this ever been done before? Are you going to close the lid? You got to close the lid, bro. Okay. There was sound the whole time. That guy photocopied water and it squirted on him. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's people who listen to this podcast, too. I'll just say, if you're listening, this Reddit section is not good for you. Because I haven't explained one of them. Slap, slap your butt, slap, slap your butt now. Slap, slap your butt. LPG bus. Keep fire near Venice on 12th December 2019. What? LPG bus. Keep fire near Venice. Keep fire. Keep fire, yo. How long have we been dancing this dance? An hour and 14. Well, for you, it might be different. You see, it might be different. <laughs> it might be different for you. I want to know what love is. Okay, people. Listen up. I think that's it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like. That's my mouth, isn't it? Comment. Subscribe. Rape that bell notification. Can I say that? Probably can't even say that. Um... How about molest the notification button? Just just fucking push it with your mouse. Click the button. Why can I hear my mouth so loud? Um jiggle my my chin fat. Uh and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye everyone. <laughs> Bitch. That's fucking cold, Janice. Oh, I love picking my nose and wiping it on the table.
is how we make the cookie crumble. That is how we make the cookie crumble. That is how we make the cookie crumble. Make the cookie crumble, yeah. We gotta make, we gotta bake, we gotta make this cookie crumble. Cookie crumble. Cookie crumble. Oh, Jerry, you're making my cookie crumble. <laughs> you're making my cookie crumble, Jerry. Jerry, you're making my cookie crumble. Okay, that's enough, Jerry.